goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm already sweating. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Beers of Brian podcast. This is uh this is gonna be episode twelve. Um this is also gonna be the first YouTube episode that Nini and I are doing. Um the man of the hour, all Vikinged up, as you can tell. We're Viking dudes. Uh got Chubbs on the pod for episode twelve. Chubbs it. <laughs> What's happening, Webdeton? You know. Hey, yeah, uh, thanks for having me. I'm very <laughs> thankful but... <laughs> to be on the pod with you. Pretty excited. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm excited. To, uh, figure out this new uh this new way of doing it. This is gonna be cool. Yeah, especially if we got some puppies chirping in the background, you know. What we might have some cats out? jumping on the table on this side as well. So it'll be all good. We'll yeah. figure it out. Um yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. It's a trial and error, but I'm still going to post it. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. It'll be okay. Um, May screw a few people with this mug. <laughs> Especially look at all this yeah. fluff, dude. I've let myself go since we've moved. I just yeah. uh, haven't, I've noticed I haven't dropped a pod since July 18th. Yeah, I've been, uh, been kind of missing that on Mondays. I'm like, ah. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I got to get it started back. What's that? my sit my setup here um but we're good um so you got a little bev Ragino prepared for this solo event here i actually do i um i was told by a source that i needed to have uh, something ready for you something that may uh surprise you out of the ordinary that i wouldn't drink yeah so i'm gonna try it and i found this one hey first one on the shelf dude first one on the shelf and I couldn't be happier to bring this to fucking beers for Brad. With, Is this just an Brian eyeball pod? walked right in? Boom! It just caught you. First right? one. I saw. First one. Where'd you, you know, go? You, go to you have all the one just to Lowe's, but you have all the regular beer. I go by. I'm like, not gonna find anything here. So, yeah, we know the shelf where they got all the singles there. Oh yeah, and they have the good. Oh, brother. they got a new fucking oak out of it. Let me get back to that. But oh lord. But anyway, I was looking down there, and damn, bam. First thing I saw was this. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it. That's it. I, I didn't even look at another one. I picked that one up, put it in the cart. <laughs> I read a little bit about it, so I think I'll kind of enjoy it. But I don't know. Uh, ready or? I'm ready to go. Dude. I, I know how excited you are, so I want to do it first. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you <laughs> the fucking label. Bam! Oh, dude. That's it. That's the label. <laughs> that's the label. <laughs> that's it. That is awesome. And the name is, is even around? better. Name's even better. Dead Guy Ale. <laughs> Dead Guy Ale. Oh, my goodness. Hell, yeah. Dead Guy Ale by Rogue. Let me read a little bit about you. It's Dead Guy Ale, Rogue. Gratefully dedicated to the Rogue in each of us. Dead Guy Ale is the Muy Bach style ale with a robust malt profile and a sweetness that is balanced by the liberal use of bittering hops. 6.8 by volume. 6.8 by volume. <laughs> oh. Dare, risk, and dream. I love I love how you jumped right into it. You're like, I don't care what it's going to taste like, but hey, don't it's a beer me. podcast, so I got to jump into it and do it. We ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Oh, that's a nice noise. Oh, I got the skull glass, too. You are prepared. I had to be when you asked me. Ooh. Ooh. I like the color. Ooh, that's a little dark there, buddy. Yeah. 6.8. That might be a little... uh... Hey, you never know. You might just enjoy it, huh? Yeah. Ooh, doesn't smell too bad, actually. Ooh. I thought like, it'd be a hell of a lot more happy, like you motherfuckers like. I like the excitement in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here we go. Fingers out. Ruizing style. There it is. Pinky out. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Good afternoon. That first hit is really, yeah. really thick. It's almost like a darn, almost like a not stout, not that heavy, mm-hmm. but it's a heavy beer. But the flavor is on damn point. Yeah. Wow. A little hoppy, a little that's, bitter. That's actually really good. No. What's it? No? 
not many bitters. It's not that bitter at all. Just a little hint on the back end. Mm. But damn, it's thick though. You, you could only have this one right here. But yeah. for for this guy that that yeah. doesn't drink fucking chubs there. Yeah, for old so chubs. That, so I, I wanted. I was been thinking about this. So that, oh, that, we got a little bit of this. Bit. But here's what I'd like to do: is just get a little chub scale. <laughs> is it no but, chub or full chub? That beer, full oh, chub, oh. obviously being the best thing ever. No <laughs> chub being the worst thing ever. <laughs> and of course, you got half chub. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you're, you're filling up a little bit. You got quarter chub. You got three quarter chub. <laughs> Well, I would say um, from the from Rogue, uh, the Dead Guy Ale. Yeah. Uh, after one sip, I will give it a filling up half chub. Half chub. All a right. Half chub. Yeah. Not bad. It's not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Let me take you, another sip. Would you buy it again? Let me tell you after this sip. Take another sip. I'm sorry, I interrupted there. Mm. Mm. Probably not. <laughs> eh, no, nah, probably not. No, it's got a good flavor, but it's just it's so it's it's heavy. It's it's a the heaviest ale that I've ever had. I mean, like I said, it's got a good flavor. Very, you, you can only have this one, mm. but not too shabby. Not too shabby, huh? And so it's a half chub. Half chub. Half chub. All right. Well, we'll have chub a little bitter. I'd like to try it sometime. Do, do you know where it's from? Yeah, let me go into that. I don't think it's from anywhere here. Um, brewed and bottled by uh, Rogue Ales, Newport, Oregon. Oh, a little cross country brew. Cross country right here, Rogue, reaching out to the East Coast over here. That is what you call a West Coast IPA there. That is. Mm -hmm. Or West Coast, whatever PA it is. Not Pennsylvania, though. No, nah, it's not the PA, but probably one of the best labels I've ever seen. That's an incredible label. It's just yeah. that sticker. Yeah, and the best name. Dead Guy Ale. You imagine the guy putting the label on is getting paid like 20 bucks an hour. Just... <laughs> 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 or like one of those temporary tattoos. He puts it on and wets it with a cloth. <laughs> yeah. Fills it off. All day long. I got a little beer story for you now when I oh. when I bring this guy out, okay? Nice. So, this one is called Trollway. Trollway. Troll, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like troll under the bridge. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's from Insight Brewing, which is here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Nice. I've been trying a lot of Minnesota beers. It's a citrus IPA. Um, I would attempt to read the. Oh, let's do that. I'm gonna attempt to read this label. It's, uh, Don't be scared. I'm gonna butcher this stuff. Um, well, I'll drink while you read. His his prodigious predig prodigious. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even had a drink yet. Uh, prodigious schnoz had detected the ale's tropical peachy grapefruity banquet from the from far beneath the bridge. And with a lumbering grunt, he heaved himself over the, the railing to block my path. Having previously survived the notoriously aggressive quizmastery of his ilk, I steeled myself for the riddles of three. <laughs> very nice. It's uh, they're getting very creative on their uh, seven percent. Nice. Oh, it's foamy, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good color. It's a lot better than the old dead guy. A lot of uh, there's a lot of citrusy smells come come into mind. Very nice. Yeah, that's citrusy. That's gonna be good. Um, but story while the uh, the foam dies down a little bit, we go walking into the liquor store because up here, you know, it's only you can buy all your alcohol in one place. You can't get yeah. it at the grocery store. So we got one six minutes up the road, which was nice. I walk in, and last time I went there. They had two shopping carts right when you walk in, discounted beer. Like, uh, uh, there's tons of Bush Light in there. <laughs> that makes sense. Shout out Bush Light if you ever want to be a sponsor of the show. Anyways, um, so there's just two shopping carts full of it. And Chloe and I are in there. We're looking. We're looking. We see these orange price stickers. This guy. 
Okay. Four of these, these are 16 ounces, 7% alcohol. Guess how much I bought four of them for? 10 bucks. That's a great guess. They were two ninety nine. Holy fuck. <laughs> so if I like this, I'm going to cut the pod short and run back and get all the... Get, yeah, just get the whole cart and push it out. I'm taking our... this one. <laughs> See, I'll take yeah. Bush in there, too. Hey, I don't care. You know how um, much this guy was alone? Oh, uh, he was probably 14 or so. No, nah, not that bad. No? What we got here? We got 16. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got one pint here, and that was uh, eight bucks just for this guy. But still, you imagine buying, they're putting down like four or five of those things. No, 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 no way. Eight bucks adds up a lot. It adds yeah. up quickly. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just um, see the color there. It's pretty. I actually do like that one. Pretty orange. Because it's orange. not so real. It's not real, real light, like, you know, like the uh, ultras, but. Doesn't smell real light either. No. <laughs> Doesn't smell like mud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do uh, one sip for the pot. This is take one. Sip one. All right. Huh? Huh? Wow, dude, that's um. There is no bitterness to that. Wow. None. That's a perfect damn golf course beer, then. This is a perfect golf course. It's yeah. for your IPA drinkers, it's a perfect golf course beer. Um, it's got your IPA flavors to it, your kind of hoppiness, but it's very, very light. Trollway. Trollway. I think that's Joe Rogan back in the day, right there. <laughs> yeah. With some dumbbells on his back. I don't know. It looks like it. Come on the show, Joe. Uh, <laughs> But hey, you know, what, you know what this beer is not full of? What's that? Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. I like that one. That was fucking fantastic. Thanks, man. I'll be here all day. Yeah. Wow, that's good. That's good. That's um. That might be a full chub for me. Oh damn! Might be a full chub. I dev I, like seriously. Might go back and get these because it's very good. How many were in the cart? Was the cart full of them or just uh, I had a few in there? Five. I mean, it's probably 20 of them in there. Five, four packs or so. Oh, get them all. At $3 a pop for four of them. I mean, these, you know, just like yours, that, that beer you've got, $8. I mean, yeah. you go buy four of these anywhere else and they're 13 bucks for yeah. four of them. Yeah. yeah. I don't care what they put in i might be like triple vaccinated now i don't know why they're so cheap <laughs> very nice <laughs> might have something else in there yeah that would be nice if that was the damn uh, booster shot wouldn't it yeah <laughs> <laughs> drink a dead guy ale that's your yeah. <laughs> now you're immune to smallpox <laughs> <laughs> you get the pfizer a dead guy ale and put your <laughs> lip a damn skull mint long cut you get <laughs> Upper deck, top, bottom, <laughs> top and bottom, three hours. What's what's the other what's the other term? The horseshoe. Have you heard of that one? I think it's called the horseshoe, or I just, might have just made that up. You might have. You, uh, go, you can go top horseshoe, bottom horseshoe. Oh, the horseshoe. All right, that's good. I was wondering, All the way wondering what you yeah, <laughs> wondering what you were pertaining to. Oh yeah, yeah, because you got to switch it up, man. Yeah, just, you know, on the road all the time. You throw one in there time after time. It's like, fuck, that's just starting yeah. to hurt. You bring it over here. I only go half horseshoe. Oh, yeah. That's my main part right back here. And then I'll mm -hmm. move it up. If this is her and move it up, stop about right there. Yeah. Up deckers, I can't do that, man. That's just uncomfortable. So it's weird looking, too. It looks like <laughs> I got a mouthpiece. <laughs> yeah. You okay, sir? Yeah, all right. I'm just protecting my teeth. You're yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to hold that shit in, it's falling out as you talk. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Fucking person you're talking to's got little specks of dip all over their face. Or let me get that for you, sir. <laughs> My upper, upper if, he just, if he just comes up, if he's just having a conversation with people and he just hands him a napkin before the conversation. <laughs> Yeah, you haven't said a word yet. 
<laughs> Here's your napkin. Here's your, hey, I'd like to talk to you. Here's your napkin. <laughs> Hold your napkin up by right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Upper horseshoe is not good. Not good for old Chucks. No, no. Oh, that is funny, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> but, hey, it gets rid of COVID. So, it's, man. It's, what if it's chew or chaw, whatever? It's the like the sand lot, the stuff they hit on the sand, red man. It's just like, oh, yeah. Sh- what if it's like really long strings? It's just like a new mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wind sock. <laughs> like coming like out a, <laughs> a wind sock. <laughs> <laughs> you put little beads on it, it could be chimes. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it lets me know when I talk too fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know to slow down a little bit. <laughs> All right, hold on a minute. <laughs> yep. That's a good sound. I like the beer sounds. Yeah, like I said, it's not my favorite, but oh, that's you got yours is a lot. Yours is a lot darker than mine. Yeah, that skull glass is a lot cooler too. You know, yeah. Well, I yeah. got that from somebody I know. Oh yeah, I think that was from you guys. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> All right. Well, who's that? <laughs> Gee, does he like the Vikings? Yeah. Uh, well, I'd like to say I'm thankful. <laughs> To be a Vikings fan, you know? Sure am. <laughs> <laughs> wow, YouTube's going to pay us so much money for this. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah. I mean, look at how good we look. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Come here and see how good I look. I'm about to open the window and shout it from a mountaintop. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, no, listen, hey, it's great to be back on your podcast. You know, I always enjoy it. Just talking yeah. shit, being stupid. I do that well, so I'm glad you had me back. Hey, you and me both. I wonder where I learned it from. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, brother. Ever talking to your own computer for an hour? Nah. Yeah. 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 Is it hot where you're at? I'm sweating. <laughs> Motherfucker, please. You don't know how to there. No, in this room, dude, been laughing my... Oh. My feet are like um, if I if I got too cold too quick they'd freeze they just freeze blocks of ice. Well, you just, <laughs> you step there. outside it's a cool windy probably seventy five up there right now isn't it? Here I can give us a good old uh, motherfucker good old weather update. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you suck a dick. Good old seventy five. Do I? Car, I got in mom's car to go to town get me some goodness. Mm-hmm. Temperature gauge. Car's been sitting all day, of course. Temperature gauge right away when I get in there, one hundred four. Holy shit! Yeah. I haven't seen. I haven't seen <laughs> ninety five up here, dude. It's been it's been fucking brutal this week. Right now, it's probably temperature is ninety two. Feels like ninety six. It's just it's just too Easy. fucking right now. Yeah, we had dude. How about this? I we had our first thunderstorm the other night and. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but our thunderstorm up here was so much worse. It's like imagine like clicking on a flashlight, clicking it off, clicking on a flashlight, clicking it off, like m- repetitively for six hours. That's what the lightning looked like. Well, like our windows, they but it's just flat, it's so flat. wide open up there. You fucking you're seeing every damn fucking piece of lightning go off. That's why. Yeah, we're the Dixie Chicks up here. Yeah, wide open spaces. Yes, you are. <laughs> In case anybody does not know, yeah, Beers with Brian has officially moved from the Carolinas in the United States to the Midwest to the beautiful yes. Minnesota. So that's why we're talking about this climate stuff. And I know some people yeah. may not give a fuck, but hey, right. it's really hot where you used to live, son. Hey, tall. <laughs> not too shabby where you are right now. Hey, tall. All the dude listeners out there, all right, pull up a map. And yeah. if you're done surfing the United States for an hour, Minnesota's in the Midwest, and then look at the weather, and then you'll be right on track yeah. for that. Morons there. <laughs> Seems like you need to get yourself a new map. 22 miles. That's also a quote from Tommy Boy, if anybody doesn't uh, know All that. the dudes will figure that one out. Ladies, go to all your dudes and just 
ask them. You know, we make stupid comments. It's when I'm on here, I just it's talk. what it's what it is, really. Your father's an idiot. You know, um, but first, I want to give a quick shout out. Not first, but um, latter more thereof to say <laughs> per se when. Um, let's give a shout out to everyone in the United States. All 92% of you, the 3% in Australia, the 2% in South Korea. Hell yeah. The 1% in Germany, the 1% in India, the 1% in Brazil, and Puerto Rico, the 1%. Huh? Let's give hey. you a little shout out. Here's Brown Podcast. It's Puerto Rico Pro International. Puerto Rico, yes. Yes. Shout Thanks out to everybody. This is Sip 2. Hey, I think this might be a two beer episode for your boy because I bought another one. Kind of excited. You go now, ahead and do that, bro. I may. I may or I may just get another troll. I'm gonna finish my dead guy, but I'm gonna take my time on that one. So you go ahead and get all the beers you want. So I'm gonna go back to my goodness. Dude, this uh hey, it's all good. All good. I, I think we need to have a goodness hour anyways. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll have to uh do that another time where I'll even have to go get something I've never had before and, and sample it on, on the pod. Yeah. I'm thinking that that would be it would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool to sample it. Yeah. Um, so, figured out that I played golf over here at the course. I'll tell you that. We played golf over here at the tier. The first time you played, yes, you told us about that one. Yeah, so I'm playing you, again Saturday. You and the lovely did. Yes. So, me and the lovely and the lovely father and, and lovely is uh, oh, nice. playing Saturday. But the other day, we're driving by Winter Town or whatever, driving back. And we see this dude, these two dudes in a cart, and then this one guy who's like 20, 30 yards ahead of him, just straight on his motorcycle, dude. Uh, Not a real motorcycle, but one of those like carry your bag cart motorcycles. Have you ever seen them? The side cart, you mean? No. Like, like, dude, it's like think of a think of a bicycle. Yeah. It, it's got a holster to throw your your golf bag in. It's got oh, handlebars. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, okay, yeah. And it's I'm motorized. Sure. Those boys are like 30. This dude was flying <laughs> in the green. He was almost going to beat his ball there. I mean, he was rolling. <laughs> this guy was, his shorts were flapping in the wind like this. He was it's so fast. And his boys in the golf cart that goes, what, 10, 15 miles an yeah, hour? Maybe. 300 yards behind him by the time he got up to his ball. Motherfucker shot 18 in a damn hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. But they uh, apparently they have those and you can rent them on the weekends. Yeah. That's cool. Because I've looked, I, you know, looked them up in my spare time. Uh, and... But that makes sense, though. It speeds up play, probably. Yeah. If, if you get a lot of people to rent them, there's probably not that many people to do, but. Right, but think it if you so you don't have to share a cart, so you're not driving to this person's ball and then driving to that person's ball, then driving forward. Yeah, you put four of them out there versus two carts. The four we get done way quicker. Oh yeah, yeah. Drive your ball, hit. Yeah, it's like walking but riding. Yeah, it's like walking but not really. <laughs> but not really. Yeah. Okay. This is take number two. <laughs> that was a little more than a sip, son. You get those in the long days. So you're liking the old, uh, what's the name of her again? Troll? Chloe? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Now I'm married to Chloe. <laughs> you just called your wife a troll. You motherfucker, you're going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> no, I think of uh, It's Always Sunny when I think of the troll. Oh, yeah. Have you ever you've seen that one? You got to get the troll <laughs> troll. You want to get into that, boys? Oh. <laughs> It's a TV show. It's a quote. <laughs> yes. No, always sunny in Philadelphia. Everybody needs to watch it and listen to this. Hey, the apparently. WB podcast. Apparently, Charlie and Mac, both. Charlie is a, apparently a very good golfer. And Mac is learning. Hold up. Are those two an item in real life, though? No. Not Charlie. Not Charlie, but uh, Mac. Yeah, all, Mac and D. D. Yeah, they got kids and shit. Yeah, all right. I, I thought I didn't know. I honestly, yeah. come on. on Twitter. Man. Sorry, man. They're on come Twitter. On. They're advertising for season fifteen. <laughs> they're already booked through nineteen. 
Holy or eight. Fuck. Seriously. Yeah, they, I, I got to start that shit all over. I'm going to go season yeah. one, start that yeah. shit all over again because I've forgotten most of it. Dude, you've got. I wasn't as dedicated as you were. Shit is so funny. Now, I've, I've lacked a little, I've seen all of them. I've lacked a little bit from like season, oh, goodness, 14, 13, 12, 13, 14, a little hazy. Um, but I've seen all of them. They they get they really start to include current events. And it's pretty it's, nothing beats the old ones, but yeah. they start to include the current events and uh DeVito's still in it. So I, you know. Yeah, DeVito's getting up there too. So he is. What is he? Seventy five? Very close to it, if not. Yeah. 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 So but uh, uh, yeah, so Mac and D are husband and wife. They got kids, and then Charlie and the waitress are actual husband and wife. Oh fuck! I didn't know that. How crazy is that? That she gives him shit all the time in the that's show. Pr- that's probably why it's so good. Is because yeah. they know each other so well. So yeah. Yeah. And, and Char- they're able. You know what else I think is that they're able to like. They're able to vent. The shit they want to vent to someone else, but directly <laughs> to their wives, right? Oh, yeah. And then they can blame it. It's just a TV show, babe. Yeah, no. I'm just acting. You stupid bitch. It's just a TV. <laughs> Sorry, it's my line. Didn't mean any of it. Didn't mean any my of line. it. <laughs> oh, yeah? You wrote that fucking line. Yeah, no, Mac did, but I, <laughs> I did too. No, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's a great show. Definitely no, watch it. But yes, they're avid golfers. Yeah, I'm going to binge. I'm going to binge that one. That might be my new shit. I'm going to binge just fucking. From season one. Mm-hmm. All and the way through. All the way through. Yeah. It's it's a good one. Also, don't know <laughs> if you knew this. Um, Cricket, the homeless guy. Do you know oh. Cricket in the show? Cricket on... on it's always sunny. He's, he's a dude. He's a funny, funny guy. He's, he plays a priest. He, he, like, he's a, he's a priest turned drug addict and a homeless guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Like, yeah, he's he's one of the writers on the show too. Okay, yeah, I remember him now. Yeah, I, that's all I say. He's just one of the yeah. writers. Super smart guys. Hey, I'm gonna take another sip of the old dead guy. Take another sip. Dead guy ale. <laughs> so great. Out of uh, <laughs> or what? Newport, Oregon. Yeah, Newport, Oregon. Pretty good guys. If you like a thicker ale, we're covering all of the United States in one podcast. Yeah. I mean, we're in Oregon, that, that, Minnesota, and North Carolina. Come on. Best label ever. Come on. That's a great label. Motherfuckers. Chuck. That's it. That's a great label. And up there it just says Dead Guy Ale. That's all they got. That's, a, that's the label. They're like, hey, what else you need from, from Dead Guy Ale? That's good. It's a dead motherfucker shivering. What kind of <laughs> damn beer? Come on. How He's much cold. better does it get? Him skin's gone. He's him cold. Him, <laughs> him head cold. Him skin <laughs> head gone. What kind right, of hats are you wearing? One more sip. One more sip. And then I got a bitch about something. Okay. In football, if you don't mind. Let me, let's do this. You take your sip. I'm going to go get a second troll because I don't want to do a new beer on a, on the same show. Okay. Right. That's, I mean, let's be smart here. Right. All right. You'd want to, you know, what one day we need to do is do a 12 pack beers of Brian, just sampling, <laughs> sampling. Just go buy 12. Crazy beers. randoms, just randoms, but like you and I will have the same or different. I don't know, I, dude. Ideas are no, I think we go, I think we go random just like we did today. Let me go, I like let it. me go North Carolina beers that I've never had. You may have, yeah, and, and I'll go 12. You go 12 different Minnesota beers, yeah, or I might <laughs> venture down to Iowa after my heart. After my heart. <laughs> Dude, we're only four hours from old Polina. Motherfucker. You got to go down there and see my boys. You know they'd love to have you. Oh, I know. I'd go back to that same bar, eat at that same restaurant every single month. You know they'd take you in. They'd, damn, they'd put you up. They'd damn feed you. They'd bathe you. They'd do everything for you. Oh, I know. Best motherfuckers you'll ever know. Yeah. They, yeah. Great people. Right. Great people. State of Iowa is always welcoming uh, people from outside of it. The, the people are welcoming people. That's that's what's great. Have you seen there? Of course, you've probably seen it. But the thanks for not the thanks for visiting, but the welcome to Iowa signs that when you cross state lines, 
It says, the people of Iowa welcome you to Iowa. There you go. You the know, field, of, better not. field of opportunities. Fucking arms are around you. Come on in, bro. Yeah, Let's, dude. Go on in. Bring on that in. motherfucker in. Let's go. Hey, that's the other thing. Damn, I got so much shit that like has happened I, that I'm I like. Don't, no, listen, don't. Like, the, give me I didn't prepare. <laughs> All right. We'll I didn't prepare. Do I need to talk while you go get a beer? Or can I just sit here and have them look at me? Just, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, um, just just move your head slightly to one side. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, <Thank you. laughs> Listen, I don't think he wants me to talk. Well, he's not there. Well, we are thankful. Look at this fucking sign. Thankful. And I'm fucking happy for Brian fucking putting out a great podcast. I'm happy he has me on there. And it's all good. But then when I was five, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Um, whatever Chubb said is it no uh does not represent the beers of Brian Brand or the beers of Brian yes. Oh these motherfuckers better listen to some BWB. They got to, man. We're in six countries. Let's get that. We're gonna get this hey, blow it up, Germany, blow it up, damn where else? Puerto Rico, blow it up. As soon as we get some more damn views, downloads, whatever it is, we're going to get shirts made. Fuck yeah. This thing's going to blow up. We're definitely going to get shirts made. Yep. You know what? I got, an, I got an idea. I'll text you the other idea I've got. All right. That'll work. But it deals with. All right. But hey, preseason football. Hold up. One more drink. Talk to me. And I guess I have more of a problem with Twitter. Oh, <laughs> preseason football. <laughs> so these dumb motherfuckers Dude, tw- <sighs> have Trip Lawrence, you know, he's just named the starter today. They have him. Oh my God, he's the worst fucking quarterback ever. He, just because he's had a horrible preseason and playing with the scrubs. Yeah. And But he doesn't have the numbers as, as the other – actually, all the other quarterbacks really suck too, but he's actually sucked even more. But he's had the problem. And they just fucking lambast him and say, hey, they already called him a bust. <laughs> that motherfucker hasn't played After one two, time. They two him preseason up. games? Or he hasn't played. Two preseason games, and they've called him. This is Twitter. That's how fucking shitty Twitter is. Two preseason games, and they call him a bust. Kellen Munn, they say the same thing about the guy. He hasn't practiced but maybe three times, and he's played fucking horrible. And they're calling him, oh, my God, his biggest mistake is spiel him his lie, blah, blah, blah. And I just, I got to get off of Twitter. Twitter is fucking horrible. It's not good for you. And especially uh, Vikings Twitter. Oh Jesus! They're, Jesus, they are the worst. There's like two or three that I trust. Yeah, because I don't really comment on it. I just I'll comment every once in a while if something really either pisses me off or I really like. Fuck, it just takes your, you know, just yeah. This one, this one yeah. cat on there, everything that he says, I'm fucking thinking verbatim, and I'm like, fuck. I always like him. I always like him, and I commented on him. It was that one quote that he made about Twyman. He said he either looks like a, a 39-year-old with a baby face or, or a baby with a 39-year-old face. <laughs> and my, I was crying. I was laughing so hard. I said, dude, That's, that yeah. was a fucking perfect way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, dude. Yeah, it was a perfect way to fucking explain the way he looks. And, yeah. and he actually quote, you know, he uh, messaged me back and says, man, hey, thanks, blah, blah, blah. But he thinks the same way I do, and him and maybe one other person. But other than that, yeah, it's the fucking end of the world when anything happens with Vikings Twitter. So 
That was just kind of my little rant on Twitter as it's compared to preseason. Pre. Preseason, people. Pre. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And sometimes Sorry. I care about preseason. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't wipe. <laughs> I'm sure I eat my scabs after I pick them. And <laughs> Sure, when I scratch myself, I like the smell of my finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can anybody tell who our favorite uh, favorite actor so. is of all time? Oh, uh, that that they may not. I mean, Chris Farley is hands down. We've already quoted him more than more yeah. than thrice. He is. You know, <laughs> you're right. You're exactly right. He's hands down the greatest ever, man. I gotta put it out there. That shit. Dude, he, he's a goat. Dude, I, are we going are we going to movie quotes? Because I fucking heard one and I was sitting here on the couch by myself crying in front of your mother when she's playing her game and I'm like I what? never fucking recognized <laughs> what movie? Fucking dodgeball. Oh dude, dodgeball. And I don't know if you're gonna fucking recognize it. We're gonna we're gonna get back on this Twitter talk about Vikings preseason because I want to talk some Vikings football in the pot too. But okay. dodgeball quote. What, so just <laughs> let me go here, man. So remember, he's in the white suit and walks up to the house, you know, because he's <laughs> thinking he's gonna take her out <clears throat> with his handkerchief around his neck. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, you know, she tells him to fucking leave, mm-hmm. and um, what's his name walks up. Vince Vaughn, and he looks at him, he goes, oh, the scent of a lesser steed is in the night. <laughs> <laughs> the scent of a lesser steed. Of a oh, lesser my steed. fucking God, I was rolling. It just oh. hit me, right? Oh, my God. The mother dude. looked at me like I was fucking losing it. But that's it, baby. I gotta remember that one for the boys. <laughs> the scent <laughs> of a lesser steed is in your nostrils. He just kind of looks at him. Oh, you have the scent of a lesser steed. I didn't, I've <laughs> never caught that. I didn't either. I've never I'm, caught that. How, how did you catch it? You just, just like a coincidence. Remember what we're always paying attention to in that scene is after she fucking cold cocks him. I don't especially my own blood. Or when he's yeah, or when he's <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that might get cut from YouTube. I don't know. Michelle's right there. That's the only thing we concentrated on. Yeah, but motherfucker, I rewound it like two or three times, and it was just rolling on that one. That so there's funny. there's another damn line that I'm gonna try to use it in the right moment in time when we're all together again. Okay. And uh, maybe Jack Jack may be able to remember that one. I don't know if he will, but you know, you know that movie plays probably once a week in, in this household. Oh, <laughs> well, it plays yeah. it's great. Yeah, Comedy Central I think plays it all the time. But man, that shit. That's a funny. That is funny, dude. The so yeah. the smell of a lesser steed. The scent of a lesser steed is in your nostrils. The scent of a lesser steed is in nostrils. Because <laughs> he looks over there and. Because uh, Va- Vince Vaughn asked him, do you need help leaving, White? And he looks over, oh, the scent of a lesser steed is in here. <laughs> I gotta watch this now, dude. I had no clue. Got to, dude. No clue. Roll. Gotta watch it. But anyway. Oh, so that's another one of our favorites, too. That is, yeah, right now and down. Yeah. Right now and down. Yeah, Don, what a movie. I mean, that's... All right, sorry, I had to get that one out. My bad. We'll go you're back. good. You're good. No, this is you're you're doing a great job. Like this is like uh, yeah. the the ADHD podcast. The <laughs> like the undertone of what beers with Brian is like. It's like wow. just me and you having a beer, and I'm. Well, ready. I think right? it's just fucking six point eight dead guys getting. It's a dead guy there. So. I'm trolled up now. Troll that up with a dead guy. <laughs> All right, well, oh, cheers shit. to beers with Brian. I'm glad we're back in the cheers. horn. Cheers, absolutely. Yeah. We're back on the horn. Let me tell you about, we're going to get back to Twitter and football, okay? Yeah, go ahead. 
we go out to eat Monday night, and uh, I'm looking over. I'm like, Chloe, I really want a burger, right? I feel like I haven't had a nice burger in a long time. Nice. Um, even though it's only been probably a week or two since I've had a burger. Burgers are life. Burgers are great. Underrated food or perfectly rated food, I would say. Um, but I'm looking at They've got like eight burgers on this menu, right? And I'm looking at them, and I'm like, all right, well, I don't really want that. I don't really want that. Don't want this. Okay, I could eat this. You know, and I end up doing like 20 ish minutes. Their server was a new chick. Got my beer. Server was a new chick. So I got my time, right? And uh, the burger I choose or I'm looking at, it's called the the defibrillator. See, I can't even say it now. Defibrillator. 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 Freaking freaking fibrillator. No, what's that? Frib or defib? Defibrillator. Is, is it named after the the uh, thing that pumps your heart back to life? Yes. Defibrillator, I think. Yeah. Oh. Mama. The right seat. No, I can't even say it now. Right. Uh, so defibrillator, was... defibrillator. She didn't hear me. She may be sleeky. <laughs> I think it's defibrillator. Hey! What'd you say? <laughs> oh, they didn't hear me. Never. <laughs> Can we do that? Can we do that? Hey, what? Mom, what? did you hear Brian? He's yelling for. <laughs> what? That was stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was stupid. I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> it didn't happen. I'm getting fucked up. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. You know, I don't care if anybody else doesn't love it. I love it. Doesn't man. matter. What? Huh? You say? <laughs> <laughs> oh motherfucker! I got an idea, man. <laughs> I'm gonna like next time. I'm gonna have a football. Yeah. I'm gonna have Chloe throw it to you. <laughs> you know how they do the. Oh, we're gonna have fun with the camera shit. Hey, you do it. You do it that way. You say, "What'd you say?" Huh? <laughs> See? We just need the real deal now. Yeah. We just gotta. Be... Hey, hey, you know what's Ooh. funny is behind the scenes. Mom's gonna throw a wicked fucking spiral <laughs> at you, or like a duck. She fucking whips it at you, poof, yeah. hits your fucking head. So okay, I don't have my stick them on my gloves. <laughs> oh, she what? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking a! I can't even breathe, man. That shit. I'm sweat, dude. You thought? Yeah. I'm sweating my hell. I had to pull the bucket off. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. All the oh, one pods I off the rails, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I followed John Randall on Twitter. He posts one time every week, Purple Friday. Mm -hmm. Golf course. Yeah. And he's Fucking smoking a cigar. Decked out in Viking. Yeah. Purple almost every day, man. I love that. Yeah. It's my motherfucker. I love that. Motherfucker there. I did see a poll on Twitter, actually, and it was, if you could have a defensive lineman from the Vikings in their prime, you needed, you needed a sack, two-minute drive for the other team. You needed the sack to win. It's like, and it was like, in their prime, Everson Griffin, um, Alan Page, uh, John Randall, like all, all the greats, who would you pick? Ooh. All in the, the greats. All in right, their prime. Go. It's this thing, this Everson, Griffin's, Everson Griffin's a man. I mean, he could get one, but 69, I don't think man. he's the best. I don't think he's the best at all. I would go J.A. in his prime. 22 Ooh. sack here. Yeah. Jerry yeah. Oh, yeah. That motherfucker. And you know what's crazy? It seemed like every time, third and 16, third and 12, third and 8, 69 that, is getting there. That motherfucker was amazing. He was. Every time you needed a sack, you could basically... Yeah, coach? Yeah. You get a sack? Oh. Okay, oh, I can use my own move this time? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. okay. yeah. I love you too, coach. 
Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I agree with you, though. I think, yeah. I think, uh, he, I don't know if he was on the list or not, but he should have. It would be tough. Well, he should have. Oh, my oh. got to ask a question. Defibu or defibrillator? Uh, obviously, I know what it is now, the way you say it. <laughs> defibrillator. Yeah, it's not defibrillator. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the idiot, though. Of the mother? No, because here I am. I'm the idiot. Um, I'm in the restaurant, and I'm like, Chloe, is it defi- defibrillator? Defibrillator. 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 And so I, I'm like, have a little kid moment. I went that one. <laughs> I'm like, look, <laughs> look up at this 17-year-old waitress we have. Like, ah. Hey, anyway, what? Ah, no. Yeah, I'm a grown man. I don't I'm a grown man. I can't say this word. I think I yeah. can't say. F I is name a of a D in this part. I don't know what to do. How was the old later? Oh, I I ate a third of it, a fourth of it. Oh, we gotta we gotta hold up. You're right. Can I, can I get it? I was gonna. 30? Okay. Yeah. Get you thirty. I want a fool though. After you, Miss Referee. Defibrillator. That's the thing. Defibrillator. Relator. Defibrillator. Yeah. Defibrillator. Defibrillator. No. Defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to be able. And I feel like I feel like a snack. Oh, yeah, I got full time. Beer. I need a beers of Brian timeout. Oh yeah, beers of Brian timeout. Okay. Since this uh, this is probably going to drop on Monday. Um, I need to go ahead and wish a happy birthday to the greatest mother, to the best mother, to the one and all. Oh, we got another timeout. We got a timeout within a timeout. Come here, man. Let me get the birthday girl in here. That's a great. That's a great timeout on BWB. What? Your son just wants to say one thing to you. Can you come my on? My neighbors. Here? My neighbors probably think I'm going insane with all the windows open like this. No, it's like, what? No. <laughs> yes? Okay. Talking to his name. Uh, oh. I just want to say, welcome to Beers Brown Podcast, Mama, and happy birthday. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate it. All of my fans across the world will uh, appreciate and hopefully send some love to you. Hopefully so. Hell yeah, um, man. Love all the fans. All the fans. Love the fam and the yeah. fans. Yeah. She looks awesome for 36. Yeah. <laughs> 52. 52. 50. Nice. Jeez. Love you. Love you, too. Hey, you know what? I think it's a little toasty toast there. Bring it in close. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mama. Happy birthday, Mama. Thank you. We are very... Yeah, I think I'm... That woman. I think I need to go get more of that beer. What'd you say? We're very... For that woman, we're yeah. very thankful. For that woman, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's got a lot of. Hold on, she's got a lot of pep. In her she does set. have a lot of pep. <laughs> oh shit! That was a good time. All right, hold like... on. We're going all over the fucking place. Um, talk to me. It's my fault that we got on a path that. Well, like this? Did you have what subject matter do you want to go back to? Talk to me. No, I mean, um, we can definitely talk uh, Vikings football. All right. Uh, I did, I had a few questions, like a few, um, damn it. I had it prepared. I don't have it prepared right now. Um, it was like a would you rather type of question or two, but you know. I got it. If I make them up, it's not going to sound good. So. All right, I got a I got a hyped part of my game, and I got a worried part of my game starting this season. If you want to hear, them. let's hear it. So let's start the new segment of the Beers of Brian podcast with Chubs. Hyped. Called hyped. hyped. I'm yeah. fucking excited. I'm hyped. Yeah. Or I'm fucking worried. Okay, straight up hyped and worried. All right, so hyped. Yeah. Defensive line, all the way across the board. Now that we got fucking the new old, back to new ninety seven back on the team, I think that is going to be 
the cornerstone of our fucking defense this year. Hyped defensive backfield. Hyped. Chris you had two hypes. Oh, yeah, two hypes. I'm going to have two to three. Okay. Let's yeah. go. Can you go three for three? Can you go three? Yeah, let me go three. No, because I'll match one. I'll match it. So defensive line, defensive backfield, and then on an individual basis, Chris Boyd. Hyped. Mm. Fucking hyped. Mm. Yeah. All right. So I'll now, like what I call that one? Worried? I was trying to think of a word. If you're going to go hyped, <laughs> might? Or like, uh... <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> I worried. think you said worried. I can't remember it either. Hyped and worried. Like, oh, the like sunny and hyped. Lonely. They're not so fucking hyped. No. <laughs> there we go. I like that. NSFH. Huh? And I'm going. Not I'm safe from hyped or I'm fucking worried. I'm going three yeah. individuals. Hyped, worried. Hyped and worried. Worried. What are you worried about, Chubbs? 55. I think he's done for the season, just like fucking Daniel was last year. Nice, yeah. Our first round draft pick. I don't think we'll see him till mid season, if at all. And your boy. No, Tony, Tony said. Yes. Nah, no. I B know. Train. I know. I know. BWB, what happened to him? I know. Holy I know. fuck, that surprised me. But. A little minor slump back. That's all it is. But listen, I think this may be something where I'll kick him in the ass and get better because Brilliant really went ahead of him. Chris Boyd went ahead of him. If I yep. and so hopefully it does. But anyway, that's. And, and okay, let me piggyback off that real quick. All right. He's not the best corner in the room anymore mentally. Last year, think of our corners last year. Oh, yeah, that's a great fucking point. He was the best. But mentally sharp between the rat terrors, he was the best corner. He played the best, but what did he have competitively? Yeah, that's, all, that's all he had. He's going up against uh, – oh, I can't even I, – I draw a blank now. Who was across uh, from him? I guess that's the point. <laughs> the woman hitter. <laughs> Jay Rice Gladney. played cornerback for us? <laughs> no, oh, Gladney. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to see he's gone. I am too. Yeah. We don't need that kind of <laughs> shit. We don't need that shit anymore, man. No, we don't any you know, we've never, we, the Vikes never put up with that shit. But yeah. Like, hope... So, Gladney... Fucking Gladney. Gladney looks shit. He looked like shit last year. He's shit this year. Tony Cameron, Tiny Dantzler. Uh, number one overall corner as far as the Vikes goes. Love him. Excellent nickname. Yes. You know, I mean, and he's, he's a great player, but now he's got a 10 year veteran. He's got like a, I don't know what Breland is, but like a six year veteran. Five, yeah, five or six, I would guess. He's got Alexander, who's now a surprisingly four year veteran. Totally forgot about him. It's, that's what I mean. I totally forgot about him. What's the competition now? So is Tony Tiny Dancer really a bust? No. No. He's going to be a great fucking back. Is he disappointing? Maybe a little bit, yeah. Well, he's going to have to play like a normal rookie season this year is what he's going to have to do. Yeah. He's going to be a backup. With, with that starter experience. Exactly. He's going to be a backup in the defensive back, and he's going to be a special teamer. That's what he's going to have to do if he wants to fucking play. Yeah. But yeah. I just thought he would ball out. But So that really tells us of how bad we really fucking were last year. Horrible. 29th. So that tells you how bad, even though we thought Danzler was a fucking superior corner at a young age. Eh? Ah, I see where your angle is. Yeah. That makes so, sense. That's what I mean. So we what we were seeing was really, really a lot worse than what we thought we were seeing. It was really horseshit. And then you yeah, bring it's, like, it's yeah, it's like, uh, when you when you play pickup basketball and you finally get that D one athlete to play with you. Yeah! Like, wow, he's the best fucking athlete on the court. And then he goes and plays D1 basketball. <laughs> he realized there's 19 of him that are better than him. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think a, it's a good problem to have, though, huh? Dude. Who we thought our number one corner was last year. Loving the depth. Is now our um, – Yeah. Defensive line depth. Linebackers were a little shaky. That's the only thing I'm fucking worried. 
You know what? I I was, but I don't. I think <laughs> Kendrick's finally has some help up front. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna be uh, good for us. He is. You know what? I'm gonna go bold take. I'll go, or not bold take, but I'll go ahead and say it. Let's play with ten guys, take fifty five off the field, and have Kendrick's just fucking roaming, just like. All right, follow the person that has the ball, and that motherfucker would get. The, I guarantee it. Well, I know with, the, with the, the two point Williams wall we got, I mean, what you know? I'm loving the new kid though from North Carolina, Surratt. Yeah, yeah, special team kid. Yeah, and I think he can. He, you know, give him a little time. He he's going to be able to play some linebacker. I bet so. I bet so. Hey, uh, can I show that to the to the pod? Absolutely. Here's our weather, son. 91. Feels like? Fair. Feels like 97. <laughs> That's how it's hot. Be hot. Yeah, that, that's hot. Can I give you my three hypes and my three not hypes? Since you brought it up, I'm coming off the top of the dome with this one, okay? We're playing hyped. Top of the dome. I'm about the Vikes, so. Hyped and not hyped. Yes. This one's going to be bold. Very bold. Okay. This is your hypes, right? My hypes. My first three are my hypes. All right. Very bold. Get the hat back off of that shit. Ready? Offensive line. Whoa. Whoa. That's my hype. Whoa. Whoa. Because. Because. Hear, hear me out. This is all off the top of the dome. Remember that. Now, once they realize that Rashad Hill is shit. That he's not not going to be able to cut it. They're going to sign somebody. They're going to bring somebody in who's going to be able to gel well enough with Ezra, with Davis, Ole Uda, huh? Brad Uda. Brewery, Uda. Right. We've got an offensive line that, that has been working together for how many years now? You know, Ezra's been there for two years now, right? I mean, we've got the young core. Gelling together. I'm excited for it. Darisol, he was injured before the draft. He was injured during the draft. We drafted him because of his potential, just like we do with everybody else. Daniil Hunter was also a freak athlete that shouldn't be drafted and will never reach full defensive end potential and may not ever become a superstar or request a lot of money and may not ever – go for the sack rate or, like, want to do enough time on the defensive line and move to linebacker and leave Minnesota and go to Oakland and then move to Las Vegas and then be coached by John Gruden. Sorry, Vikes fan. That was known as a rant. Yeah, sorry. Tommy boy. And all the pod people, you know I like my rants now. This is my second rant. No, offense line is one of my hypes because you can't do any – we can't get worse than last year. Can we? I mean, really? Can we? Can I can I interrupt your hypes? Interrupt my hype because I'm staying hype, baby. Staying hype. Guess, guess who got burnt? You know, Mr. Hill on the left side. Yeah. Guess who's had guess who's had one of the best ratings amongst offensive linemen in the preseason so far? I would say Bo. No. No. Is Why it Hill? Why Davis? Yes. Exactly my point. So could you put Davis, Cleveland? Yeah. Could, could Cleveland you? play left tackle? I don't know. I thought he played that Boise. I have no idea. I thought he played left tackle at Boise. That's, well, what, I'm that's what I'm saying. If so. that's his natural position, why in the fuck wouldn't we put him out there and put Davis at fucking guard? Because because we've got a veteran at left tackle right now who's been yeah, for the system. You know how the Viking coaches are. Right. Jesus Christ, Rashad, when you let a rookie do that to you. You know, right. You know how this coaching staff is, though. I know. Rookies don't start. Sorry to interrupt your hype. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You're good. My second hype. My second hype. Cut Cousins. <laughs> Mr. Kirk Cousins. Did you hear that, Mama? I have individual man's Kirk Cousins. Cut Cousins. Cousins put up those numbers he did last year with the offensive line he had last year. We upgraded the love, offensive line. Love where you're going. He's got he's he's, he's got a Rudolph that's not going to be with his red nose empty in the middle of the field. He's got an Irv Smith Jr. now. 
So let me ask Still you. Time Irv Smith. Have you seen both games so far? I missed the first one. Okay. When Cousins played, you saw that one, all right? One very good. Does his check down Charlie scare you at all or no? No. Okay. All right. Why Amen, give it up, brother? Why give it up in the preseason, man? It's preseason, right? Yeah. That's what I'm telling myself to. Why get it up in preseason? Now, week so. six, seven, eight, and he keeps check down Charlie. Yeah. Fucking kill him on time, baby. Thank you. You know? <laughs> Quickest release I've seen. Long time, dude. He can get that ball out quick. And he's quick. He can yeah. run. He can it's run. Like a, it's like a damn Marino Paul Pepper combination. My boy could run. <laughs> and he could heave it down the field to Moss. That's all he could really yeah. do. <laughs> the only other person I'd like to wear a left. Um, that's the that's the original. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Who was four eleven? With all of our elevens? We came up with the elevens, didn't we? I never, I never posted it because it was just, it was just you and I. Hey, I know that guy's left. <laughs> no, that guy's left. Because <laughs> we were hammered drunk. Hammered, yeah. We were already I drinking. Time to film a pod. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we were already drinking, and then we decided to drink more once we started the pod. So that we was recorded fun. ten drinking, not even mentioning the preseason drinking. Recorded 10 and then said, hey, fuck it. Let's record 11. That's and right. Like, that's what yeah, That's what happened. I got that shit too. That was a double. Du- that was a double dipper. We- that is for that is for. Uh, <laughs> straight up. That's for that's for the households only. That's not going to get released. Though. I actually I actually like that subject matter, but I know we were just. Hey, what? Yeah. Yeah. You say 11? It's just it's Pat Culper. Yeah, it's Pat Culper. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Johnny Unitas was 11 too. He was, he was, he wore 11 in junior high. Yeah, grandma got the pictures. All right, go ahead. Sorry, my third and final hype, and my internet connection's a little unstable. I'm right next to the box. What's in the box, right? What is in the um, box? My third, my third and final hype. As I'm thinking about it right now, Michael Pierce. Oof. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That boy's going to do some damage. Damage. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Oh, I've got to, listen, I love your hypes. Damage. I now, they're a little unorthodox, of course. Now, nobody, nobody in their right fucking Viking state of mind is picking the offensive line, but Tell me how we didn't upgrade. I mean, you're right. I'm the same way though. There's, I just have reservations about them to where we've, they've never worked together. Cut curtains. I trust that motherfucker. I do too. And I love that dude. Yeah, I love Michael Pierce. That's a great one. Michael Pierce. I like your hypes. That's my hypes. One's a little shaky. One's a little shaky, but I like but, it. I'm gonna leave it about, up. There. It probably should have been my third hype. How about those? How about those? Not so hypes. All right. First, not so hype probably isn't going to shock you. Greg Joseph. Yeah. Not a very big hype at all. Not no. Hype. It's always been sketchy, especially since so Daniel Carlson's making the name for himself out in Las Vegas. Blair Walsh is doing Uber and, you know, <laughs> or whatever. I don't know what he's doing. But you know what I'm saying? So that's that's my not hype. I'm not really comfortable yet. I know it's preseason, so we, we write off everybody else. So we should write off the kicker. So you got one job. I mean, if I tell Cousins to work on a 15-yard out route every day in practice, <laughs> work on it, and you, you know, I get it. It's off your foot. It's different. I've come up with some, like, four or five not more hypes <laughs> as you've been talking. So, yeah, yeah I get it. No, I totally get it. Yeah. Not more hype. Uh, 55, not more hype. Yeah. There's no more. He's done. We should have let him sign with the Jets. We should have. He's I, done. I, I hate to say that now. but I, I hate to say it now because back in the day, I'm so glad he picked us. Yeah. Because I love 55. I got I got some love for him. Man, when, it, when he is all in. Oh, and it's. He is, and he is he, fully healthy. One of the best linebackers. He's in the, the best athlete on the fucking field. Yeah. Big and as fast as he is. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking unreal, but can't be healthy. Never healthy. 
and he's usually not all in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I get it. That's my second non-hype. I think I know what your third one is. I do. Go ahead, though. You think you know what it is, huh? Oh, yeah. Right here. It's getting hot again up here, but it's right here. Okay. Okay. I think it might shock you as I've come up with it off the top of my head. Let me throw that one up there. That's on the top of your head right now. <laughs> I want to... Dude, thanks for the new hat. No, and look, right. I don't say... I, I don't want to put this person in this spot because I'm not excited about this season. And yes, I do want them to be in the future plans. Oh, dear Lord. And I love this man's. <sighs> All right? Are you ready for this one? This is going to be a dude. You fucking dare. Exactly where I'm going with it. Don't you fucking dare. You know exactly where I'm going with it. I'm going to have to hang up on your son. <laughs> exactly where I'm going with I'm gonna it. I'm going to have to fucking hang up on your son. Coach Go ahead and say it. Mike Zimmer. Not so high up on him right now. I love that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? You heard me. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a little loud. Oh, no, I think, I mean, dude. I get it. He is the every other year warrior. Now, Mike Zimmer's always there, but it's like, I, I might want to change that to the Vikings luck. I'm not so hype on the luck. Yeah. Because it's every every other year, it's rise the hopes of the fans, make the playoffs, win a game, question mark, lose. Like, you know what it is? And, it's, yeah. and then, like, the next year is a mediocre or losing season. Now, I love Mike Zimmer. I know this year is going to be a successful year for him and the team. I'm just not so hype right now because he has got everything – going for him right now with this and, team and as much do something with it and as much as i i hate you talking about my boy if he can't do something with this team because him and bud grant are are fucking in my heart forever because i think they're they were the right people for the job absolutely to take us to the promised land but yeah this year he's got no excuses and and if he gets fired next year if he doesn't fucking win a super bowl or get to the super bowl this year then nobody can really say anything because right. they fucking went out and got every free agent, <clears throat> signed everybody to bring back to Minnesota that they could. Yeah. Tried to upgrade every position that they could. Yeah. And it comes down to your fucking – Literally. And the players on the field. So, yeah. Literally. They needed okay. DBL. Right. They brought in free right. DBs, right? It's like Forrest Gump. I can't talk about that no more. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to say, I drank 23 of them, Dr. Peppers. <laughs> I got to pay. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> nah, I just, I love Zim. I love his fucking. I know, dude. He's old, you know, he's old school. You. I'm with old you. School. I don't want to get in one of these motherfuckers that are younger than you. I'm with hey, you. Hey, I'm, I'm going to spread my one. Do this. We're going to do this. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, man, if you can't down with both hands, you shouldn't he be He can run a 4-2. He can fucking pass it 95 yards. He can do it. They're going to be questioning it. My favorite play is the triple-double psych reverse. <laughs> Thank you. And that's not even in the stadium. No. Nah. doesn't even see it. No, nah, we go to the that's parking lot. Favorite. Yeah, we go to the parking lot and run that shit. Am I, I running it on Sunday? Well, fuck no. No. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? No, I just I love Zan. <laughs> that's my boy. I know, man. I know, but he's on the hot seat. That'll be a sad day for me, man. I may have to fucking same. We may have to come on the pod and talk about it. Ooh, no, there may be drastic measures if he ever gets fired. I can't even talk about him right now. Sorry, let's no, move on. You can't. I don't want you to talk about that. mother's looking and at I, me like you're fucking. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to bring that up. But what I'm saying is that I'm not, so hype. You, baby. I'm not so hype. Okay. Right hey, now, and you know, I could substitute him. I could substitute him for a not so hype. Hold up, can I bring in a substitute? I got I'll a beautiful fucking woman here. I got a I'll beautiful woman right here. I call it. I might need Everybody to get another beverage. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you get a get a fresh beverage, and then we'll bring in our substitute. Oh, you got it with you. This is where the this is where the mini. I gotta go into the bridge. 
this is where the mini fridge will come into play. I know. I got to go under the bridge, though. This guy's at a special place. Oh, yeah. Well, go get it. I'll be right back. And then I'm going to introduce our special guest. Don't you go dying on me. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect timing. By another movie that we love, of course, that was Dumb and Dumber. When Jim Carrey gets ripped off by <laughs> old lady. Listen, people across the world, this is what we do. We talk stupid shit. We talk movies. We try out new beers. We talk Viking shit. Because we love the Vikes. And I don't know what just happened there. We almost went off air. But I'm getting ready to introduce yeah, no. my beautiful. No, he's not on here for long. No. And then when I was seven. Oh, hey. I feed hey. My pa- hey, Brian. I- Hi. Yeah. Brian's How do you back. know what I did in kindergarten? No. <laughs> kindergarten. Garden. Next time I'm going to throw a football like this. And then Chloe's going to throw it at him. He's going to catch it like yeah. that. <laughs> throw it real quick. Throw it real quick. Man. <laughs> I don't know if it's the wrong side or not, but it is. No, that was the right side right there. That's the way you got to do it. Because if, if, if I'm throwing it from here, don't throw it yet. <laughs> you got to catch it from up here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to introduce the love of my life. I'd like to introduce her again. <laughs> Birthday girl, this is my beautiful bride, Amy. Birthday girl. Yes, hi. I just have a comment on Zim. Comment on it. I'm I know it's going to be hateful, hateful stuff Caller. from it. Caller it nine. Old. Hey, what do you think? What do you think Jack would say? You know. Caller nine, go ahead. Amy. Yes, I would just like to say that I agree with Zim. Thank you. Possibly th- this computer. Oh, we got we got a little static. What'd you say, caller? You still there? Yes, possibly could be his last year if he doesn't bring it. You know, but, caller, I think you got a great point there. And we're breaking up here. A little got bit. A little static. Oh. A little bit. Really little stat- it's okay. We're still here at one hundred four seven, the hottest St. Cloud <laughs> radio station in the area. But I do, I will say that Mr. Chubbs likes what Zim stands for. He likes his coaching style. He likes the old school in him. Yeah. No nonsense. No nonsense. Put your dick in the dirt kind of mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. Uh, yeah, I agree with her really. Um, I do. But I, I, you know, Coach Shimmer, what he's going to do is he's going to he's going to have his players ready for Week One, and we know that every single year. Okay. That's true. Going against the show. Huh? Oh. You Zim's going against his former team. Yeah. Hold on. Let me reset. We are set up. We're set up for success. All right. I'm set. You're set. So, no, is him going up, up against his former team? Yeah. Joe Burrow is going to play in the next preseason game from what I've heard. So, we'll see what he's actually going to do. But Joe Burrow hasn't played it down in almost a year. Almost here. Yeah. And who are they? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Bam. They do have a, a, a who day. And uh, it sounds kind of right. Who day? Who day bangles? Who day? But who, who, who dare? Who dare? Who dare? <laughs> <laughs> who dare? Uh, the fucking yeah. Bengals aren't there. That's who for sure shit yeah. ain't there. Going into his first game, going to get Pierce, Tomlinson, Hunter, Warm, or Griffin. DJ Warm, gonna... why don't you join me, huh? Who's going to start? Warm? Yeah, definitely. 
yeah. Or <laughs> Everson Griffin. Seriously? I mean, seriously, like, when you guys talk about me, Everson Griffin, you talk about mentality, okay? No. Uh, I think I think DJ, one coming a little closer to me, is going to start. Um, oh, yeah. Next to him is going to be Michael Pierce Meyer. Um, following that is going to be uh, Dalvin Tomlinson, told you don't touch anymore. And then on the other side of that is Daniil Hunter Girl down and, you know, handcuff her as a girlfriend. <laughs> Um, now on the outside, we're going to have Patrick Peterson, not Adrian's cousin, Harry, the Hitman Smith. Uh, we're going to have Xavier. You can't find me in the woods. Uh, and then on the other side, we're going to have Bashad, Bereave, Lynn and me. Huh? Uh, and then in the nickel, we're going to have Mackenzie Alexander on the $10 bill. We're going to have a- Nick, badass. Nick the Jill from King of the Hill. Uh, and then we're going to have Ann... <laughs> <laughs> and then we're, hey. we're do you know what I am for that rant? What? Thankful. Thankful. <laughs> That's what I am. <laughs> Wait, do you have the do you have the top hat on the camera? Oh yeah. Not the right top hat, the uh the, the old Viking hat yeah. up there. I thought yeah. I, I thought I was covered by the sun a little more now than uh, Take it off your head. Let me put it back on your head. <laughs> Thank you. How about it, fits well. it fits well. Let me ask you a question. Serious question. Ask me a question. Beers with Brian podcast fans. If we go this heavy with Minnesota Viking talk, are they going to be all right with that? You know what I think we do? No, I'm there just, we go. I'm just kidding. Here's what we do. is the podcast is the podcast the way the podcast is going to be. All right. That's you know what I think maybe? And you're now in Minnesota, maybe. so yeah. you'll gather your new this listeners. hometown. Maybe. Hey, but you know what the next thing should be? we got to talk about fantasy football. Ooh. Because you we're know starting what we could do. Two you know what we right could now. do. Oh, right what now? We, what we could do is have oh. a fantasy. What? Again. No, no, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. You talking right, to me? I gotta get back to this. You talk- I gotta get back to this. No, you can ha- no bottom drawer. You can have it. Okay, but no, I gotta get back to this. I'm I'm here too. I'm. I'm we gotta get back. Okay, I'll be back soon. Right, sorry, Chubb. Right. No, sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> the hand awesome. got me. The- <laughs> Everybody's gonna love that. <laughs> Well, they will. I, I got you. No, I'm right there. Yeah. No, I got you. Yeah. Hey. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do to me? What was I gonna say? No, I got an idea now. Yeah. Wap up up and boo doo 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 doo. Here's an idea. Let's do a. We'll have to do the fantasy draft next weekend, or not this weekend. Fourteen days from today. No, Labor Day weekend. weekend. Are you guys doing any, Labor Day weekend? Are you guys doing anything? One of the three days. Because yeah, we're let's do a Google Meet BWB special edition fantasy draft podcast. Oh, that's awesome. Let's do it. Oh, Everybody, podcast? podcast it. Everybody's got Google Meet, dude. Motherfucker, yes. Yeah, let's do it. That's a great. And of Thank course, you, I'll, Hot. I'll probably cut all of this from the from the podcast recording. I'll sample it in together. But um, real quick, Mister Thankful, do you realize how long we've gone on for? No idea. No idea. If I'm I told ready you, to dip it. you gonna put a horseshoe upper decker in? I'm gonna no no upper decker because I don't want to fuck it, fuck the screen up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't be able to see me <laughs> here in about five minutes. <laughs> Seriously, you don't know how to be saying something to me. Um, no, but hey, Chubbs, you don't don't say the brand of that because they're they may be a sponsor one day. What is right. them behind the wheels? You know what I'm saying? It's okay it's earlier. Gonna... Now you're showing product. Okay, beers are different. I'm just kidding. Show what you're talking about. What are we doing here? Anyways. Um, oh. Skull Mint Lanka Extra. Because 
No, this is for YouTube. Well, well, so we got it. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll have to blur that out. So we'll have to YouTube. Oh, uh, that's all right. I don't I'm know how to, I'm gonna. Uh, do it. I'm gonna I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Learn the rules. Here's my, here's my plan: yep. is I'm just gonna upload it, and then if I get like cut from it, I get cut. From it, you know. Yeah. Um. But I will say, let's. Uh. You know, we've been doing this for. Good amount of time now. If I tell you, it's going to surprise you. Six months. Now, how long have we been doing this tonight? No, this pod tonight? Oh. He just wanted to go, what? What'd you want to get? An hour in? Yeah, I I was thinking like 35 minutes. I mean, I, I wasn't even thinking. You two can never I talk. For I know. I know. I don't know why I was thinking just 35. But you know what we can do? Is that we can uh, we can end the recording here on double time of what I thought we're closing in on an hour and twenty two minutes there, Chubsy of the <laughs> podcast. What a time to be alive, Chubsy! Birthday girl, I love both of you. Love you, Don't Brian. Love you, buddy. Up because I'll just stop the recording. I want to just chit chat. Love you guys. Thank you for joining the Beers Brown hey. podcast. Thank you for having us. Absolutely, love you, boy. Yeah, boy. Tell you what. Hey. Go. How do I? How do I? He's gonna cut it off. Oh, he's, he's gonna cut it off. Wait, can't. Hold Brian. On. Why do, what? Brian. Hey, can what? you cut this off? Well, stop yelling at me. Get out of my I'm room. Sorry. I Get don't. I don't room. know how to cut this shit off. Get out of my room. <laughs> Where'd you go? So, from? Just Get cut. Just cut the fucking camera off. Get out of my room now. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving.